Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about a very interesting show, the prejudging of the New York Pro. Before we start, I gotta apologize for the sound of my voice. I got a little bit sick after the show, I think my immune system got weakened after I competed, it usually happens, but I am much better now, after a couple of days of taking high dose of vintage base, which is a multivitamin and a probiotic mix. You can buy it on the Old School Labs website, there is a link down below, and if you use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount, and you help me, you support me and my channel, so guys, thank you if you do it. Now let's proceed with the show itself, New York Pro once again, front double bicep, first pose, as you can see right there in the center, Tonio Burton. This was, at least for me, it was expected. I mean, this guy looked amazing last year, and he improved significantly. He kind of reminds me of Dexter Jackson. Do you guys see that resemblance? I think he has similar shape, especially quads, but also like overall roundness and conditioning as well. He's not as good as Dexter, of course, but he's getting there, like he's on his way up. I saw him coming. I expected him to win this show, but I wasn't so sure about the beef stew guy, the guy on the, on the left here and on Tonio's right. And he actually ended up in the top two callouts. So it's between these two guys, but Tonio was in the in the center the whole time. So and you can see that he is better. He's gonna win. But this new guy, Stu, Beef Stu, he's gonna be second, and that's a huge achievement here. And especially if I tell you that he is 26 years old. Guys, 26. Do you believe that? Like he's a freaking kid. And he's, he's bigger than like all of these guys here. You're gonna see it in other poses. Like, he's a really massive bodybuilder. Let's go with the next pose now, which is front lat spread. And personally, I think Beef Stew is winning this one. Especially the way he's hitting it. I love the way he's hitting it when he does this. Look at this. Especially that moment when he looks to the side. Who used to do that? Do you remember? Dorian Yates, that's right. So he does it like Dorian Yates style and he has probably more sweepy, bigger, more massive legs than Dorian used to have relative to his frame. I don't know if Dorian would dwarf him, but like he reminds me of him a little bit and those legs are looking really, really impressive. Tonio, I mean, he's good. He, he's probably more conditioned, but this pose, it doesn't suit him as well as it does to Beef Stew. Next shot is the side chest shot. And this is also another pose where Tonio Burton reminds me a lot of Dexter Jackson. Do you guys see it? I'm really curious if it's only me or do you guys also see it? Tell me down below in the comment section. And I have this one. Tonio definitely is winning this one. I mean, he's winning this show. I'm pretty sure. I'm positive, basically. Like, he is winning this show. He's definitely he's dominating this show. The other guys are looking great, they are all giving us a great show, they are all in great condition. Surprisingly, Max Charles is not in this top 5 right here, but it is what it is. We have some new blood, and especially the beef stew guy he is making. He's making a name for himself right here at this show, and some of us saw him coming, like he became pretty big on social media lately. Fuad Abiyad found him, I mean props for that, Fuad really knows how to pick these guys. And he did a couple of podcasts, for example, Think Big Bodybuilding Media has great podcasts. Those are my favorite bodybuilding podcasts right now. So shout out to those guys, uh, especially Blood, Sweat and Gear. And also, uh, It's Just Bodybuilding. Those two podcasts, I love them. Like, I'm hooked. I recently found out about them and I'm trying to watch all the old episodes. There is a lot of them and I only have a certain amount of free time in a day. But I will get there. I'll watch them all. So definitely... Guys, go check them out, great podcast, probably the best bodybuilding podcast right now in the world, if you ask me, Think Big Bodybuilding Media. Anyways, back to the show, back double bicep, won by Tonio Burton. Now, as you can see, Beef Stew is bigger, like, he is the biggest guy right here, he's really freaking massive, but because he's not as conditioned as Tonio, for example, he doesn't look that impressive, he doesn't look that big. So Tonio, again, because of his conditioning, because of the shape of his glutes, because of details in his back, because he's so carved in, you know, those separation really deep, that's why he's winning this pose. And this show, I gotta say it. We can analyze this show pose for pose, but I don't think it really makes a lot of sense. I mean, Beef Stew is challenging Tonio in some poses, like this one, for example, because of his width, because of his size. There are a couple of shots that he actually looks very good at, but... Can he win? Can he beat Tonio? Uh, this is a very convincing win, if you ask me. 
he might be bigger, as you can see right here especially, like he is bigger, he has a bigger frame, and that frame is pretty filled out very nicely, but it's, it's the shape, it's the conditioning, it's the 3D that Tonio has uh, here, when you see them one next to another, like just two of them, it's much closer than when you look at the entire lineup, it's probably because of Stu's size. He's kind of, I wouldn't say he's dwarfing Tonio, but he's definitely bigger. I don't know if I don't know if hair is helping. Is it making him bigger, <laughs> or is it making his uh, body look smaller because his his head is huge because of that hair? I don't know if that's helping or hurting him, but he just overall looks very impressive. He draws attention. He has certain kind of charisma as well. I mean, there is a bright future ahead of this guy, but I don't see him winning this show in particular. However, he is pushing Tony O'Burton, who really brought an amazing package. And uh, yeah, this guy is a rising star. Even though Tony is winning, I I'm looking at this guy more because he's more interesting to me. Like, his physique looks really, really impressive. If he gets his conditioning just a little bit better, I'm pretty sure he's going to win a pro show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. So I'm expecting this guy to be at the Mr. Olympia. Like, how well he can he do at the Mr. Olympia? Uh, it's really tough to say because the, the lineups are so deep over there. Like, I don't see him being top 10 at the Mr. Olympia, but if he gets, like, top 15, that would be an enormous success because this is his first pro year. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this show. Tell me how do you feel who's going to win it and tell me what you think is the future of Beef Stew. Can he be, like, top 10, top 15 Olympian one day or this year? Whatever your thoughts are, tell me down below in the comment section. Go to the Old School Labs website, buy any of the supplements. Just make sure to use the code EVAN to help me, to help me keep making this content for you guys. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. All the best. Bye-bye.